You stay out here. No matter how many times you see this video, it's still as shocking as the first time. Former NFL player Brian Price jumping through a glass door of a Washtenaw County store. And during this moment, police were unaware at the time that he was likely suffering from symptoms of CTE, chronic traumatic encephalopathy, which is a result of having repeated blows to the head and concussions uh, while playing NFL football. We're going to send things over to Jason. There's new credence to this connection just out in a new yeah. report. In a new study which found out of more than 200 brains donated by NFL athletes, there was evidence of CTE in 99% of them. Joining us now to share his own personal health struggles is former Detroit Lion Lomas Brown. Lomas, good morning to you. Hey Jason, how are you? Good to see you. Uh, does it surprise you almost all NFL players studied likely suffer or suffered from CTE? Well, Jason, everything we've been finding out now, no, I'm not. I'm not shocked at all. Actually, it's scary to hear all this. Uh, it's scary to hear the average ages of these guys that they're testing now. It's scary to hear that about 99% of us probably is going to suffer with CTE. It's just scary to know that, you know, you don't really know what's going on with you. And it's scary that your loved ones, your family, you know, your significant others, they can see things that are happening to you and you can't really see or feel things that are happening to yourself. So it's just a scary disease. And the more and more you hear about it, the more nervous, quite frankly, that I get about having or being diagnosed with CTE. Yeah, when you get together with your former teammates, uh, you know, in back in the day, it would have been like back slaps and remember this player, remember this right. game kind of thing. Do you now talk about it openly? Yeah, you, we do. We really do because it's, it's serious. It's out there. You know, it's something that's happening and it's happening to guys that you play with. And not only guys that play before you, but guys that play yeah, after you. Crazy. Guys that plan now have a likelihood that they may get some type of CT or some type of brain disorder because of the game. So, yeah, we talk about it now when we get together and all the guys are really concerned about this right now. Uh, not to get too personal, but have you noticed anything I'm with yourself? Well, you know, Jason, I think it's been more so my wife has been telling me little things. It's been little things that I've noticed, you know, uh, little short-term memory loss here and there, uh, having to take more notes, uh, writing down more things now, uh, taking a list with you when you go do certain things now that I notice I have to do now. So yeah, it's little things, but again, I think it's more with your significant other, the person that lives with you, the person that's around you every day. I think those are the person that identify more things that are going on with the individual than the individual himself. Well, football ha has grown to become probably the most popular, I said earlier, brand, but sport, you know, in America is American as baseball, hot dogs, apple pie, and Chevrolet. What would you say to a parent whose child is maybe getting into junior football, uh, peewee, you know, and right on up through middle school and high school? You know what? I love this game. I love playing the game. This game of football brought me so much. It, it, it's who I am. That's who I'm identified with. What I have now is because of the game of football. What my family has been able to done, do, the people I've met is because of the game of football. It brings so much to a player. It teaches you so many life lessons. It's so many things you could take from the game of football and use later on down in life. Right now, it's the safest that it's ever been because of all the rule changes, the yeah, equipment changes, just everybody concentrating and thinking about and seeing some of the things that go on with this game, the consciousness towards the game, it's made it safer. So I would tell a mom out there, you get so much more out of the game of football, you know, that to me, let your son play the game. It, the coaches are being taught better. The techniques are better. Like I say, the equipment is so much better than it was when I was in the game in 02. And you have companies like Holbert, uh, Holbert and uh, Mayfield coming out with new uh, things for the helmet that may help 
uh, dissipate some of the impact with helmets. You got companies out here doing different things to try to help, you know, curb some of the impact of this. So yeah. right now, any mom watching the game, please let your son play this game. It's a great game. Lomas Brown, we appreciate the time. We look forward to seeing you very soon right here on Local 4. Thanks, Jason.